One of the biggest mistakes that I see when planning for retirement is focusing too much on the investment performance and not enough time on the investment strategy. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to take your $6,000 Roth IRA contribution and turn it into over $2.4 million over the course of your retirement. If this is your first time at our channel or you haven't subscribed, click on the subscribe button at the bottom. My name is Travis Sickle, Certified Financial Planner with Sickle Hunter Financial Advisors. The Roth IRA contribution limits have increased from $5,500 to $6,000. And if you're 50 or older, you can tack on an additional $1,000 called the catch-up contribution. So we're going to take just the $6,000 and we're going to fund our Roth IRA. And I'm going to show you what that looks like over time so you can see that it's not just money sitting in a retirement account for all eternity never to be seen again because let's face it that's probably how you feel when you make a contribution to your retirement plan and especially if retirement is really far away now i'm going to do this math on my financial calculator we're going to keep it super simple but if you want to get a little bit more information i'm going to put a link in the description at the bottom that you can click on set up an account and get a better idea of how much you need to save to reach your own financial goals. So I'm going to jump into the financial calculator and we're going to start with that $6,000. So we're going to contribute $6,000, but we're going to make it a little bit easier. We're not going to do it once a year. We're going to do it monthly. So we're going to take that $6,000 and break it up systematically over 12 months, which is $500 per month. So here's how we can get your Roth IRA to produce over 2.4 million over the course of your retirement. So we'll start with the $6,000 annual contribution. So we're gonna save $6,000 on an annual basis into a Roth IRA. And we're gonna to have to assume a few things. We're gonna assume an 8% rate of return. Now I know you're probably thinking, well, there's no way that I can get a steady 8% every single year. And you're right. But I wanna show you so you can understand what it looks like when you invest systematically into a portfolio and what that looks like over time. And I'm gonna give you a couple of tools so you can get a little bit better understanding of the rate of return. But like I said in the beginning of the video, let's focus on the strategy first and then we can follow it up with the investments. So if we invest at $6,000 and we're gonna assume an 8% rate of return. Now this rate of return is gonna be the same throughout up until retirement. So we're going to do this and we're going to invest over a 35 year period, 35 years. So if I plug it in here on my trusty financial calculator, that's going to be 35 years at 8% rate of return. And right now we have nothing saved. So we're going to put a zero for the present value and we're going to save $500 per month. And that's going to give us 1,154,588. So we're already a millionaire by the time we hit retirement. So if that's the case, I'm going to put it up on the board. So we're going to have that equals $1,154,587. That's great that we have over a million dollars, but how do we get to the 2.4? So here's where the real magic comes into saving for retirement and making smaller contributions to get a huge sum of money down the road. That is turning this into an income stream. So when we're in retirement, for the most part, we're gonna take less risks. So this rate of return is going to come down. So now let's assume that we're gonna get a 5% rate of return on our money and we're gonna start spending it. So we're gonna get a 5% rate of return and we are going to spend it. Because after all, that's why we saved it, right? So when we hit retirement, we're gonna take this amount right here, this $1.1 million, and then we're gonna turn it into an income stream. But I want this income stream to last my lifetime, so we have to make another assumption. How long is our retirement gonna be? Let's assume that it's gonna be 35 years. Well, we saved for 35 years, so let's see what that looks like when we spend it for 35 years. So we'll take this math and we'll do 35 years for retirement, bring it down to a 5% rate of return, and we'll have $1,154,587 
today and we'll have nothing when we die. So we're going to spend this money over 35 years. So that's going to bring it to $5,803 per month. So we're going to turn this into this income stream. We can turn it into $5,802 per month. 5802. And again, we're assuming that we're going to get a 5% annual rate of return. And this is the maximum amount that we'll be able to pull out and have this last for 35 years. So we saved for 35 years and now we're going to spend down over 35 years. So if we do some simple math, we take this, we multiply it by 12, multiply it by 12. That's going to give us just under $70,000 on an annual basis. Now, if our retirement is over 35 years, we're going to get that same amount every single year. We multiply that by 35 years, and that gives us $2,437,209. So just over $2.4 million over the course of our retirement. So let's take that $5,802 and write it up on the board again. So we have that $5,802. So this will be our income on a monthly basis when we hit retirement. And we're gonna multiply that by 12. And then we're gonna multiply that by 35 years. So that's gonna give us our 69,636. And then we're gonna multiply that by 35 years. And that is going to give us our grand total of $2,437,260. Now, this is not only over $2.4 million, it's tax-free. So if you also were saving into your 401k, to figure out what this would be the equivalent of, all you need to take is your tax bracket, take the inverse of it, and that's how much money that you need in your 401k in order to equal these tax-free dollars. So that might sound a little complicated. Let's do the math. So if this is how much money we have and we wanna figure out what is that equivalent to, and let's say we're in the 22% tax bracket. So you'll take your calculator out again and you can literally put in 100 and mi minus 22, which would be the percentage, which gives you 78. Take 0.78, Take this number and divide it by the 0.78, and that's going to give you the equivalent in the same tax bracket. So if we do that, we take our $2,437,260, and we divide that by 0.78. That's going to be $3,124,692. So that will be the equivalent of $3,000,000. $124,692. So these two numbers would be identical if this was in your Roth and this was in your 401k or your traditional IRA. So we started saving $500 into our Roth IRA and that is the equivalent of having $3.1 million inside of your 401k. That's a huge amount of money and that is only the strategy. That's not focusing on the rate of return. Yes, we're assuming a rate of return, but it's not focusing on it. It's getting an average rate of return of 8% and then bringing that down to 5% throughout the course of retirement. Now, of course, if you use seven or six, these numbers will be a little bit smaller, but you get the point of the saving strategy behind it. Saving a little can turn into quite a bit. Now, there are two parts I'm going to point out because I know someone's going to make a comment about this. The rate of return is not going to be the same every single year. Yes, that is true, but it's not the point. The point is looking at the strategy of saving because that is where you should focus on. You should save as much as possible, start as early as possible, and you're going to have a huge sum of money relative to somebody who doesn't save or saves in lump sums or waits 10 years before they start to save. And the other point is we did not look at inflation. So the 3.1 million here and the 2.4 million here, they sound like really huge numbers, but they won't be worth quite as much down the road. That doesn't mean you shouldn't start saving. That doesn't mean you shouldn't open up a Roth IRA and put as much as you can as early as you can, because you absolutely should save and do the best you can for yourself financially.
If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and leave your comments down at the bottom.